When it was time for St. Mary to depart, the disciples came to see her, along with the virgins at the Mount of Olives. The Lord Jesus came to her with thousands of angels to comfort her, and told her about the eternal joy that was prepared for her. This made her very happy. So she reached out with her hand, blessed everyone, and then closed her eyes and her pure spirit departed. After they buried her, they heard the voices of the angels singing, and so they stayed there for three days, until they could not hear the songs anymore. On the way back to Jerusalem, they saw the Apostle Thomas coming off from a cloud. They asked him, Where were you? Why are you late? Virgin Mary has died. So Thomas, being Thomas, has to go back with them to where they buried the body of St. Mary, so that he can see for himself. So they went back with him, and when they rolled the stone, the body was not there. The tomb was empty except for a very nice smell of incense. They were troubled and thought someone had stolen the body. But when Thomas saw how sad they, they had become, he told them, Don't worry. Don't worry, my friends. It's the angels who took St. Mary's body. I met them as I was coming back from India on a cloud. One of the angels invited me to come over and get the blessing of St. Mary's holy body. Then they all heard the Holy Spirit telling them that they all will see St. Mary in the body one more time. Several months later in Jerusalem, God fulfilled His promise and they all saw St. Mary at the right hand of Jesus among the angels. David's prophecy in Psalm 45 came true. At your right hand stands the Queen.